Good morning. It's 7 a.m. Today, I thought I'd take you along. It's like a chore day. I have a lot of chores and errands I need to run today. Stuff I don't want to do. Uh, I need to empty all this trash. I need to clean the dishes. I need to fold and put away laundry. I'm going to get rid of some clothes. I think I want to like take the van to the like a car wash. Wash the outside and also like vacuum the inside. Uh, I also work tonight so I have to go to sleep midday. Uh, just yeah, a lot of stuff that I don't want to do but it's like necessary. Dishes done. I still don't have a proper mirror, so. We're on our morning walk. He's across the street, Calvin. Okay, I just dumped my trash off somewhere. Um, and now I think I'm gonna go, I need to go get litter really badly and I need to like completely change the litter box. <laughs> Hi, Calvin. He's acting like we didn't take like an hour and a half, two hour walk. Hi. What are you doing? Grocery time. Look. What I got? Just for you. <laughs> okay. Um, it's finally cool enough. So I can like not have to park in the shade. I can park in the sun and get solar energy to run the fridge because I've had to throw out food for my fridge like three times and I'm just sick of it. So I finally got enough stuff to like stock the fridge today because I keep eating out and it's a problem. So let me show you the haul. You're taking up this entire, I gotta put the food here. I moved positions, but you can still see Calvin because he's the star of the show always. All right. Also, I'm not the healthiest vegan, so I admit that. Call me out, sure, but I, I'm i gonna keep doing it. Uh, I got holy bread. Got some like seasoning mix. Tomatoes. Classic, classic olive oil and vinegar for like salads. I needed washcloths. I'm trying not to use paper towels. Um, white basmati rice, garden vegetable rice, vegan ham, more rice, couscous. <laughs> um, this is the only thing going in my freezer, like these crumble vegan Boca meat crumbles, because I have a bunch of tortillas I need to use up, so I just figured I need, like, some sort of source of, like, I always want something like I could chew on, basically. Sun-dried tomatoes for salads, Spanish rice, some vegan sausage, <laughs> vegan cheese for my sandwiches. I got sun chips. Got us a cabin. More couscous. Vegan A's. Which is like vegan mayo, basically. Um, garlic. Got red pepper. Some broccoli. I got, uh, what are these mushrooms called? I always forget. These aren't shiitake, are they? I don't know. I got four potatoes. I'm a little upset about this purchase because I, I just love arugula so much that I need it, but they never have like a small bag or they don't put it like in these mixes. So I got spinach and spring mix and arugula. So that is gonna be a struggle to fit. <laughs> and then I got some 
bleach for the uh, TMI uh, pee jug and their litter for you. I think that was all $85. Oh, I also got, uh, I know I'm not trying to buy plastic, but I don't have any like containers to save food. So I got a couple. Uh, yeah, so 85 bucks for all of this. That's okay, I went to Winco. Winco is like the cheapest grocery store that you can go to unless you go to like a grocery outlet. So that is why I usually like to go there for stuff. They don't have like a lot of specialty vegan items, but it does a trick for like a basic grocery haul. You can get some arugula. He doesn't like any uh, food that's like human food really, but he loves the taste of plastic and tape. So I don't know, that's weird. I started watching this TikTok instead of putting my groceries away. And there was this girl that adopted this old cat and then adopted the sister cat. It was so cute, oh my God. Okay. Love you. Making a salad with so much arugula. It's pretty much all I want. Sun-dried tomatoes. Spinach. And this olive oil stuff. Oh, I have some onions too. I'll put some onions on there. Who needs a cutting board? I'm just parked in the grocery store parking lot, by the way. Because that's what you get to do. I also can't do it like when I film, but I'm going to listen to Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris. He's got like... I didn't realize you could listen to comedy specials on Spotify. Someone just brought that to my attention. Um, so now it's a game changer because I can't really listen to podcasts because I need to like, for some reason, visually see people like having a whole conversation, but comedy I can just listen to, which is nice. It's probably the least ideal time to do this and place, but uh, I'm in, still in the city. So here we go. Honestly, it's my bad. I totally let this get, like, way disgusting. This is clean and fill back up. And then when I go to the car wash, I'm going to vacuum all this out. Okay. After almost a month of living in the van, I have decided that the, uh, some of these books got to go into the cabinet. Because I'm so tired of, like, opening or, like, putting my bed into a couch to, like, get clothes out of it. So I'm going to move books down to here and then close up into one of these cabinets. I think I still want the books in this corner. Okay. Now I have to actually like think about which books I want out. Norwegian Wood by Murakami is gonna be my next read. So that's staying out. I'm working on like writing my own book. So like young adult fantasy is always a good uh, motivation or inspiration. So I might read that series next. I did not finish Journal of the Solitude because it kept getting into like the winter months because it's a daily journal. I think I want to read some of what she writes about in the winter during the actual winter. So that's on hold. I'll keep it out so I remember. This. Already read that. Read that. This is also a French book I have. But just a tip, I like to get like a book in French. Um, and what I do is like I write in the margins what the English words are and it's taken me forever but it's kind of nice because like as practice I'll go back and like see as practice I'll go back and read it and it's like because I've had to write it and then like read it so many times again and again because this takes me forever I like it's so much easier to remember the words Il était deuxième du matin, it was two in the morning, puis la l'air pensa Avec regret en front, les yeux. Et maintenant, à 50, 50 ans, après 30 heures et un mariage heureux. So, that'll make me practice. And this is all taking way too long. I just, like, ugh, look at this. I'm trying to get my clothes organized. And that's the floor. It's just, everything is just even more of a mess. Ah! I don't know how to organize this and I don't, I feel like there's never a time when I'm going to want to actually do this. Mm 
some shirts because it's getting a little hot in the van. But bed is made and back out. Um, clothes are all put away. I was so proud because I like found like 10 pieces of clothing that I'm like, I'm gonna get rid of. And then I realized that there's still clothes in all four of these pillows. Like what? how do I have that many clothes? Oh my gosh. I basically need to spend like an entire day trying to figure out how I really want to organize everything. But I did get like these clothes up here. So I still have this section of books, these clothes, which I like. Um, but like the pots and pans are always like squished together and I want to do this better. I don't know. There's just, it's funny cause it's like, I want the bed to just be out all the time in a sense. So I think I kind of want to like drill holes into this and have like a lift up thing. I think that'd be cool. Um, and then it is like an entire waste of space just under, don't judge the litter, all under here, under the bed. So even if I decided to like keep it out as a bed, I still don't think I'd put anything under there because the cats like to go under there. <laughs> I feel like I, I like that they have like an extra entire space of the van to be able to like walk across. I think that's like good and healthy for them, so. I'm gonna leave that as it is, but I just need to, I put some more clothes up here too. I just, I gotta spend more time organizing. I have to go to bed in a couple hours because I work overnights tonight. I start my first overnight again. Um, so it's just like a weird switch over that I'm trying to do with my sleep schedule. I just realized I look a little crazy because I didn't take my makeup off. So it's like super uneven and just a mess. I'm gonna make a sandwich though. I'll say the one thing I really hate about vegan ham and cheese is they just act like you're never gonna eat this in parts. Like why is there no zip thing to keep this fresh? Same with the cheese. Like, give me a zip or give me like a, a container, like normal stuff. Yeah. That's my man. I'm gonna take my time. I don't understand how anybody does these TikTok trends. How are they filming themselves? Oh, you can't see right now. I have to show you this art piece I just got at the farmer's, yeah, farmer's market? Just whatever, Saturday market, uh, yesterday. My first ever piece of art in the van. It's so cool, how do I not get it to reflect? Okay, I'll show you up here. Look at this. Okay, but it's almost three o'clock. I was supposed to be asleep by like two. I'm gonna go pee. And then I've never finished my um, film I started last night, so I am gonna finish that movie. Um, I'm watching Hiroshima Mon Amour. It's a French film, uh, but it takes place in Japan. And I don't know, it's okay so far. But uh, I paid for it $3, so we're gonna finish that and get a little bit less sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep in this parking lot. And then head to work from here. La ville, c'est un jour de fleuve qu'on appelle la Loire. Je ne peux pas imaginer une fleur. C'est là. C'est là. Parce que j'ai 20 ans. J'ai eu 20 ans. Je regarde des films français beaucoup parce que je veux prendre le français. Je veux être uh, le meilleur en français, the best. I want to speak French very well, basically. I know a little bit. I took some in college uh, and high school, but why am I going British now? Basically, I just really want to be good in French. So I watch a lot of French films and I just end up, French films are just some of my favorite films. Um, I need to do like a favorites list at some point because I've got a lot of art I want to share with you guys um because it's like a big part of me I guess and I like sharing that stuff and like knowing it from others too you know Calvin's having a fit in the middle of my movie so I have to brush him okay I'm going to bed now I just finished the Hiroshima Mon Amour movie. Personally, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. 
feels nice when the van's like clean. I'm in like a good mood. I'm feeling a little bit of like gratefulness right now, you know, like looking around at my home. I'm also early to work, which never happens. So that's also probably why I feel good because I feel I'm an adult right now. Um, I need to change into my scrubs and get all this stuff together. I think I'm gonna take a shower in the morning, so I need to bring all that stuff inside too. Uh, quite wrinkly, huh? <laughs> um, I think I need to start folding my clothes at the laundromat. I saw a couple people doing it the other day and I'm like, you're so smart. I never thought of that. I guess that's what those tables are for. I kind of want this Spanish rice. But one time I had a roommate that told me that it smells like armpits and I kind of agree with him if you like think about it that way so I don't want to stink up the hospital. So, I think for dinner, breakfast, I'm gonna have some vegetable rice and vegan mac and cheese. Okay, so healthy. Hi honey. Yeah, just pretty girl. Okay, I think that's everything. Work is over and done. The sun has just come up, which is kind of cool to be off at that time. Um, I am exhausted because it's been a while since I've had an overnight shift, but need to go walk the cats, of course, feed them. And then I don't know what I'm doing today. This is also because I don't work tomorrow. It's one of those times where I'm like super tired, but I'm like, I want to do something. <laughs>